After the quilt has been trimmed, I cut some pieces of fabric three and a half inches wide and then I folded and pressed them with the wrong sides together. I then cut two of the pieces about two inches longer than the widest side and two pieces about two inches shorter than the shortest side. Pin one of the shorter pieces about an inch from the end and stitch with a quarter of an inch seam all the way down with the raw sides together. And then do the same with the other short piece. Now press those two pieces open and then very carefully press the seam allowances towards the quilt top. Try not to burn your fingers when you do this. and also press from the top. Now take one of the longer pieces and with raw sides together, pin it to the top, making sure that those side flaps are open. And do the same with the other long piece. Where the two strips overlap, we're going to do some reverse stitching just to reinforce that point. Start stitching about an inch before you come to the new piece of fabric and as you cross over into the new strip just reverse stitch and go back and forth a bit. You can stitch to the end as I'm doing here or you can stop a quarter of an inch before the end, pivot and then stitch to the end. You can stop in line with that open seam, pivot and then just stitch and do your reinforcing stitches in the ditch or you can stitch to the end. Here I'm just going to stitch into the ditch and do some reinforcing stitches over the overlap. Repeat with the other long side. This is the line to follow to go straight into the ditch and do those reinforcing stitches. Trim all the corners as close as you can and this will reduce the bulk and give you sharper corners when you turn everything out. 
Now fold out all the corners and you can see why we had that reinforcing stitch. It is a weak point. I use a chopstick to poke my corners out and get a nice crisp edge. Now press all those edges carefully with a nice hot iron and steam. To finish off, you need to hand stitch down the edges at the back, and I use a little slip stitch or a running stitch. And here's the finished quilt.